In this snip, we're going to go over how to discover Azure Virtual Machines in Ipswich's What's Up Gold 2018. So the first thing we have to do to do that is we need to establish some credentials in Azure for What's Up Gold to actually make that connection. So I've started off here in my Azure portal and I'm going to assume that you already have an Azure subscription and Azure Virtual Machines in that subscription. So the first thing we have to do is we need to set up an Azure AD application or an app registration. To do that, I'm in here in my portal and I've navigated to the Azure AD section. First, once we get to the Azure AD section, we can go over here to app registrations and then we can go up to new application registration. And then we type in the name of the application. This should be a descriptive name of the application that's requesting access. So I will go ahead and just type in what's up gold here. And it will be a web app or API. The sign on URL really doesn't matter too much. So we'll just put in HTTP what's up gold dot com. Next, we click on create to start the application creation process and it's pretty quick. And once that's done, it should say successfully created application. And now we need to get a few different properties here. So first thing we need, we need the application ID. We're going to need these once we get into what's up gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up a window here, just a simple text editor window. This could be notepad text edit like I'm here on my Mac or it could be uh, anything you want. We just need to capture these out. So the first thing we need, we need the application ID. Put this in here as application ID. This is also known as the client ID, which you will see in uh, What's Up Gold. So once we have that, then we need the tenant ID. This is the tenant ID for your Azure Active Directory tenant. To find that, we can go here to the back to the Azure Active Directory blade and then we can go to properties and then you can see a directory id here so i will go ahead and click on this go back to my window okay so i have a tenant id and an app id next we need an app key to provide to uh, what's up gold so to do that we can go back to app registrations and then we can go to view all applications then our what's up gold application shows up then we can click on that and then we go to settings, keys, and then we can create a key. Uh, for the description, it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's just say WUG Azure VMs, that works. Duration, I would just go ahead and put in one year because this is just going to be a demonstration. I don't need this to uh, be active forever. So I'll do this. And then once I have the description and the expiration in there, I can click save. And then it will provide me the value. And this is important because this only shows up one time. When you to see this value again, you would actually have to create an entirely different key. So it's important to save this out somewhere. So once I've copied out the API key, now we have everything that we need to provide to the What's Up Gold application. But now we need to grant access to the VMs that we'll be reading. So so to do that, I will go over to resource groups here. And then I have one called ADB testing. So I will click on that. That's where all my Azure virtual machines are located. Once I do that, I will go to access control IAM, go to add, select the role since What's up gold doesn't need to change anything via with my resource group. I simply need to give it read access. So I will click this, click the reader option. Then for the assign access to, we have created an Azure AD application. So we will choose Azure AD user group or application. Search by name or email address. We need to provide the name that we provided earlier. And I just picked a few letters there and I, I'll pick what's up gold, save. And once that's created, it will come up as a reader role under the 
resource group that you had just set. So you can see here that I have what's up gold, the type is an app, and the role is reader. So once we have that configured, we then can head over to the what's up gold web interface. And we, now we need to create an Azure credential. To do that, we can go to settings, libraries, credentials, click the plus, click Azure, give the credential a name. I will just say tech snips. And here's where we provide the tenant ID, the client ID or the application ID, and finally the key. All right, once we do that, we can click save. All right, so once the credential is created, now we need to kick off a discovery. To do that, we go over here to discover, new scan. Because we're only going to be discovering Azure Virtual Machines in this scan, we're not going to be doing an IP address scan. So we can just uncheck each of the IP address specific options here. Then we select Cloud Devices, then Azure. Once we do that, we can go to Next. Select the credential that we had just created. This in case, in this case, it's called Tech Snips. Hit Next. We're not going to schedule, nor do we need an email notification, so we can just click Next. And at the summary page, we can just click Run. Since we do not want to save this scan setting, we'll just click No, just Run. And in a minute, it will come up to the active scan window. So you can see here that it's came up to my active scan window and it says one active scan. And at this point, What's Up Gold will go out and discover all of the Azure virtual machines that I had given it access to. So in this case, since I have all my Azure virtual machines in my ADB testing resource group, it will access all of the VMs inside of that resource group. All right, it looks like all of the nodes have been discovered. We have status complete for everything. And now you can see that they all come up in my discovered network. Notice that we do have an Azure Dash Tech Snips node in here, and its device role is Cloud Portal. It will discover this role on the first discovery, and it will discover all of the Azure virtual machines in that resource group that I gave the application access to. So you can see here that I have four virtual machines in that resource group. And at this point, we can set up monitoring or do whatever we like to to these Azure virtual machines. So that concludes this snip on how to discover Azure virtual machines in What's Up Gold 2018.